This video is going to talk to you about uh, series and parallel capacitors. It's going to show you what stays the same in series and parallel, what changes, and also how to add up capacitors in series and parallel to find the total capacitance or what's also called the equivalent capacitance for the combination. So as you can see, I've got this little animation going on right here, and I've got these capacitors that are in series. So that means one after another. And in series, as soon as one charge comes on a plate, it repels a charge from the opposite plate that moves down the wire to the next capacitor, and this process continues. So what happens with all this is that for capacitors in series, the charge is the same on all the plates. So once you put the charge, certain amount of charge on one plate, for everything else that's in series with that capacitor, the charge is the same for all the plates. Now, what also happens with this is that the potential difference, which is also called the voltage drop, across each one of these capacitor plates is different. And so to find it, what you have to do is calculate it. So C is equal to Q over V using that relationship to calculate the voltage drop. And of course C is the capacitance, which you would know. To find the total capacitance for capacitors in series, it's one over the total capacitance is equal to one over C1 plus one over C2 plus one over C3, etc. In other words, a quick way to remember this is the inverse of the answer is the sum of the inverses. The inverse of the answer is the sum of the inverses. All right, let's move along to parallel plates. So in parallel plates, they're both connected to the same high voltage wire and the same low voltage wire. And because there's nothing in between the capacitors, that red wire that's up there is all the same voltage, and the blue wire is all the same voltage. And that's the definition of parallel. Parallel means they all use up the same voltage. So because they all have that same voltage across them, that's what stays the same for parallel. The voltage stays the same which means you use our same formula we just had to find the charge on each of the plates. So the charge differs in parallel, but the voltage is the same, and that's opposite from the series capacitors we just saw. Finally, the total capacitance of capacitors in parallel is just added up. All you do is add them all up. So the total capacitance, or the equivalent capacitance, is equal to C1 plus C2 plus C3. You just add up all the capacitance, and that's it. So here's an example. Here are a bunch of capacitors in series, one, uh, let's see, one 8 microfarad capacitor, a 16 microfarad, and a 16 microfarad. I know the inverse of the answer is the sum of the inverses. So 1 over CT, the total, is equal to 1 over 8, plus 1 over 16, plus 1 over 16. Lowest common denominator is 16, add them all up, and I get 4 sixteenths, which becomes 1 fourth. And that's 1 fourth of microfarad. To get the final answer, I have to flip it, and I get 4 microfarads. Now, a little math shortcut. You don't need to write micro every time in front of all these little uh, farads. You can just leave that off, and when you get to the end, you, you put it on your answer, because you're not doing anything else to it except adding up microfarads, so your answer is going to have the same units of microfarads. Now, just to show you, these two circuits are the same. One just has kind of an line, the other's in a loop connected to a battery, but they're the same circuits. Let's look at a series example. So the our parallel example, sorry. These capacitors are in parallel. And they're, not, they're in parallel, not because they look like they're in parallel, but because they're same, both, let's see, because they're all connected to the same high voltage line and the same low voltage lines. They all have the same voltage drop when they connect to the same lines. So the total capacitance for this parallel combination, total capacitance, is just the sum of the capacitors. So 8 plus 16 plus 16, that's going to be 40 microfarads. Again, you don't really have to write the micro every time. You can just put it 8 plus 16 plus 16 farad, and then 8 plus 16 plus 16 plus 16, and the answer comes out to be 40, it's still microfarads. So it magically reappears uh, as microfarads. Here's an example of the same circuit. It's just done with the battery. So I've just replaced the circle and the ground symbol with the battery.